Hello and welcome to day four of our reports from the Paris Air Show here at Finn. And uh, well, I have to say, our feet are beginning to ache, but the fun and serious reporting carries on. And we're seriously getting into the swing of things as we take a look at some of the more innovative aircraft on display. There's been a lot on collaboration this week and a groundbreaking agreement saw the leading company's chief technology officers sign up to work together to develop new solutions. So ourselves, Rolls-Royce, Boeing, and Airbus and Dassault and General Electric and United Technologies and Safran all got together because we've decided to cross competitive boundaries to make sure that the aviation industry drives more rapidly towards the uh, sustainable outcome that we all need. And these signs of collaboration were clear with Daha, Airbus and Safran announcing a collaborative partnership to design and develop EcoPults, a wing-mounted hybrid propulsion demonstrator for the TBM platform. Boeing's technology development unit called Next is showcasing its prototype two-passenger electrical vertical takeoff and landing aircraft at Paris. The aircraft, developed in conjunction with Aurora Flight Sciences, made its first flight earlier this year. Former Airbus Chief Technology Officer Jean Botti, having founded Voltero, brought its hybrid electric Casio, which should fly later this year. It should achieve 200 knots and features both push and pull propellers. It will come in four, six or nine seat configurations. And of course the real worry is just who's going to be flying all of these aircraft. Accenture's latest industry report raised some discussions for the show. Now they say generational issues are one of the big challenges with more baby boomers working in the sector than any other industry and an impending retirement cliff as a result. There's also significant competition with other industries to fill these jobs including the tech sector in Silicon Valley. If you graduated from the University of Washington several years ago as an aerospace engineer, it's almost assured you'd be going to Boeing. Now you have a choice. Do you want to work at Boeing in Renton or would you want to work downtown at Amazon and still be able to put that aerospace industry you know, degree to work? But the industry is responding. CAE's Group President for Civil Aviation Training, Nick Leontidas, says that initiatives like CAE's scholarships to attract would-be female pilots is one good example. 50% of the population is women, uh, but only 5% of the population of pilots is women so and when you compare that to other industries lawyers physicians surgeons uh, you know the, this profession is uh, well behind so we need to open that up and it was really nice to see one of the great names of aviation come back to Le Bourget de Havilland Aircraft of Canada Limited Longview Aviation Capital of course had bought the rights to the Dash 8 to market it worldwide Longview also owns Viking Aircraft which successfully remarketed the Twin Otter and now offers a new variant with very flexible alternatives to the challenge of medivac, maritime patrol, surveillance and search and rescue all through its Guardian 400. Working in partnership with Airborne Technologies, the Guardian features pods with Leonardo's Osprey radar system for multi-mission capability. The starboard wing has a sentient VDAR camera, a wide area optical search system for maritime search and rescue. So as we say au revoir to Paris and another very, very busy air show. Just time to tell you we'll be doing a best bits highlights of some of our special moments in an overview for you tomorrow. And don't forget over the next few weeks you can see a number of great films of the innovation and the people and all the great events at the show. So that's it from us. Get the latest always, of course, at wearefin.com. Thank you for watching.